Okay, how do we add numbers that may be positive or negative? We had two ways of understanding addition, in terms of counts and in terms of lengths. We're going to understand signed addition in both ways, and then we'll make a list of rules. So, let's recall how we understood adding positive numbers in terms of lengths. And I'm just going to show you a very simple addition problem. 2 plus 1 is 3. What did we do? Well, we drew our number line. With only positive numbers, we can draw 0 at the left edge. We started by drawing 2. and we drew an extra 1 on the end of it. And we saw that we ended up at 3. So 2 plus 1 is 3. Let's see how 2 plus negative 1 would work out. So again, I'll start out by drawing 2. But now on the end of 2, I'm not going to draw 1 going to the right. I'm going to draw a negative 1 going to the left. And I see that I end up at 1. Okay, 2 plus negative 1 is positive 1. Hmm, interesting. Let's try another one. Let's say we want to add negative 2 plus positive 1. All well, this time, we'll start by drawing negative 2. And then at the end of negative 2, we'll draw a positive 1. And we see that negative 2 plus positive 1 is negative 1. All right, one more picture to draw. What if we wanted to add negative 2 plus negative 1? It turns out that if all we have is negative numbers, we can draw 0 over at the right edge. This time, I'll start by drawing negative 2. And then I'll draw negative 1 onto the end of that. And I see that negative 2 plus negative 1 is negative 3. OK. Looking at these pictures, I think I see a rule. If our numbers have the same sign, we're looking at a picture that's like this or like this. Right, we're looking at a picture where both numbers point in the same direction. So the actual operation we want to do is addition. That is, we want to add the absolute values. And then we keep the sign. Right? Huh. What about if the signs are opposite, though? if we're looking at one of these pictures. You'll notice that in those pictures we go in one direction and then backtrack. The result ends up being closer to zero. What's going on in those pictures is that we're not actually adding the absolute values, right? We're actually subtracting the absolute values. So in both of the opposite signs examples we did, we subtracted 2 minus 1. And then 
What's the sine of the result? Well, we ended up with the sine of the number that had the larger absolute value. Think about it as keeping the larger sign, but realize we mean larger in terms of larger absolute value. OK, how can we understand this in terms of counts? Hmm. Most of our understandings of negative numbers, most of the direction sorts of things, those actually lend themselves better to these pictures. The understanding of negative numbers that lends itself best to counts is thinking of negative numbers as debt. I like to think of this as the, the red chip, blue chip model. So red chips represent what you owe, so they're a negative count. Blue chips represent what you have, so they're a positive count. And if you have both red chips and blue chips, they cancel each other out. You get rid of them as you pay off your debt. All right, let's do some addition with this model. 2 plus 1 first. So these are both positive. So I'll have two blue chips plus another blue chip. That obviously adds up to three blue chips. And surprising no one, positive two plus positive one is positive three. All right, what about 2 plus negative 1. We're understanding this to represent having two dollars and owing one dollar. So I have two dollars I owe one dollar. Well I spend one dollar to pay off my debt. What's left? I have one dollar left. All right, so far so good. What if I owe two dollars and have one dollar? So I owe two dollars and I have one dollar. Well, I spend my dollar to pay off one dollar of my debt, and I still owe one dollar. That still makes sense. What if I owe two dollars and I owe another dollar? So I owe two dollars. plus I owe another dollar. Well, I can see that I owe three dollars then. Notice that these answers agree with what we saw with the lengths. So we see the same rules for adding negative numbers again. These are two different ways of thinking about the same mathematics.